Hi, everyone. I'm Robert, the CEO of Blockchain. And uh, we are a startup from New Jersey, and we built a very innovative and unique e-clinical software system. And the intent of it is basically that we want to accelerate clinical trials. That really is our mission. And we want to use all the innovative processes, but first we're tackling the inefficiencies in the operation processes. And the way we're doing this is by looking at the pro process first. And the current process really is one where the subjects are coming into a site more often than not. And then from there, the data is being captured into a web-based uh, solution. And from there going across to the uh, data sponsor or the uh, sponsor of the trial. We want to take our iPad-based solution into the patient's house even. And this is the essence of making it fully decentralized using our blockchain-based solution. The challenge in today's operational process are that there are siloed systems and people now are requiring real-time information in order to take quick decisions. The pandemic has highlighted the importance of patient safety. And unfortunately, in the past few years, ransomware attacks have also increased. There is also a very costly impact of all these inefficiencies. There have been data integrity issues using the systems of today. In cancer trials, for example, 8% of cancer patients participate. So there are trials on one hand requiring patients, and in another case, there are patients who want to participate in trials, but some of the twain is not meeting together. And in addition, payments in this industry are more often than not very late. And unfortunately, when doctors' clinics have to work on thin margins, you guess what happens? There's data suggesting that almost 41% of sites are dropping out due to payment delays. Now, the essence of it is that um, we'd like to demonstrate our system because as the cliche goes, if a picture is a thousand words, imagine how much more a demo of a system is likely to be. So what we have is actually an, a two minute clip of how a system works with all the elements that are present in it. And what he has here is firstly the informed consent or e-consent, where we have all the details which are associated with the protocol to be sure that the patient is clearly involved in the decision process. And you'll see a button on the right-hand side which says play. We've actually taken our informed consent also into an audio format. And the reason is that there are some people for whom the written word may not be as appealing or as understandable. And so the spoken word is even more impactful. So we have an audio file and even more, we can basically convert this into the natural language of the patient or the study subject. So the patient then basically is hearing what is the informed consent about, is recording what they say yes, and that is also being recorded as a signature, which is then date and time stamped. The physician involved or is also uh, signing off on it. So there's a very clear sense of accountability. The ECRF is the core element of how the data is captured and then stored in a blockchain. So first we went, we wanna be sure that the site that is being uh, enlisted to participate in a trial is absolutely on track with whatever the regulatory and requirements or the sponsor's requirements. We demonstrate that by a set of rounders that becomes green as you go through various stages. So there's really end-to-end -end transparency with it. Then after that, we have the patient's processes all sequentially shown. The data is being recorded. And that data is then going into, as a case report form, into the blockchain and is immutable. We've also built an integrated finance module in order to create a unified platform so that whoever is the program manager knows very clearly what is the budget and the total expenditure. So they're not at a loss for resource or resource dis related discussions. But even more, we're taking it down to different levels because there will be folks in the accounting department from a control perspective want to know exactly what has happened, where, why, when, and how much. And that is a unique feature of our system. We also have a document viewer which is basically capturing all the documents associated with the trial in one place. 
The benefit of it is, of course, ease. So you're not running around between different kind of cupboards or what have you to check where the records are. And then we have also a comprehensive audit trail. And the audit trail, by the way, has got also geotagging on it, apart from the usual stamps that are required. We've got widgets to make a dashboard. And the beauty of the real-time structure that is over here is, as you can see in this trial that we did, we had people in India who were basically putting it, the data entering in. In real time, we saw that. And of course, I and my CTO were also doing that in the US. So you can see in, in as the patient's data is being recorded, exactly where it's coming from, how is it coming, who is the sort of a patient, up to the point where patient privacy is, of course, uh, a critical filter. So the reality is that this is an intuitive, easy to use system using an iPad cloud and distributed ledger. And I can see over here, the sort of patients that are signing off using it. Imagine how much more powerful it can be then in the US context. And what we then are trying to do with this whole process is, uh, is basically to focus totally on the visits and trial execution where we see a lot more inefficiencies and that's where $26 billion are being spent. And this is below the waterline kind of expenditures. There are other excellent competitors who are providing solutions in the other areas, but our uh, startup is focusing on the site operations area uh, as a way to move ahead. Uh, the next thing is, what is our value proposition? I hope it is clear with this discussion so far that we are an e-clinical software system we are targeting uh, pharma companies, biotech companies, clinical operations teams. We believe we will accelerate revenues and trials, give real-time data and give that immutably and transparently. And we can also take our trials to the patient locations. And we do this by leveraging an iPad cloud and uh, distributed ledger technology for which we've got a patent pending over here. The other proof is we did a pilot test. 850 patients were supposed to be covered in the protocol over 12 months. We were given 12, uh, sorry, we were given uh, 150 patients. In 12 days, we covered that. And we know that may have been a saving of even at a very minimum 50%. Then we did another study where we had, you know, eight iPads running and 65 patients covered in six hours. And we had a virtual certification done by Health Innovation Technology Labs, the sponsor today. So we've got a very rugged system, which is 21 CFR 11 compliant, as well as has been computer system validated. And look at the sort of folks that have you basically demonstrated they can use the system and imagine how much more powerful it can be for your trial being done in the US. If you see this, dashboards are designable, customizable. More importantly, they can also be geotagged. So at any stage, there is the full degree of transparency that is required. And we really build this, I would say, not just because of my 28 years experience in the pharma industry, which includes also being the head globally for clinical development finance for Novartis Oncology, but also because I've got an outstanding team behind me that is making things happen. Almost everybody has MDs and PhDs. Our website, blockcube.com, www, has got even more information of all the others uh, that are present uh, supporting us. Our goal really is to not only give you as a customer what you're already getting from existing systems, but go far beyond that. With our financial module, for example, may it's digital dollar ready. It gives the accountants the data they want. It allows the CRO, for example, to potentially even start billing on a daily basis or even on a weekly basis rather than a monthly basis, because all the accounting uh, is taking place at a transactional level all the IR and GR is re recording is taking place transactionally right there. And we think our competitors are really outstanding, but we think we've got also a very strong system which can uh, help mid-sized biotech and pharma companies immensely in accelerating the trials. The philosophy of our system is as the Gartner Group Jeff analysts have talked about, is that systems are really moving towards a unified platform. And Viva is a prime example of this unified platform. And it's a very impressive uh, leader in this area. And we believe we are exactly over there because we do all these things. There's a data repository, data capture, trial master file, 
the trial management system, adverse events reporting, and we've already got a pilot going on the uh, clinical trial supply chain a track and trace over here. We also were listed in the uh, Gartner Group's hype cycle report for 2020 for life science and blockchain companies. The only one which is a CTMS system, to the best of my knowledge, as well as we think we are amongst the first, if not the pioneers in this area. And I already mentioned to you about our HitLab report. We also were very fortunate very recently, the vice president and distinguished head for Gartner's um, blockchain group um, also highlighted us in a blog post last Monday um, that we are one of the success, uh, successful users in a blockchain world for a um, software solution. We also have been selected in Plug and Play Accelerator, which is going on right now. And what is more remarkable is that two things. One is out of 100 that health tech companies that they looked over the world, we were amongst the 10. And out of that, in this 10, there are only two clinical trials software companies. And so we are obviously uh, thrilled by the recognition and the strength of the inputs we're getting to be able to partner with other organizations. Our ask is really simple. Pilot us, try us out. You have nothing to lose. And contact me in case you'd like to participate in a pioneers program for which we have very attractive incentives. And for the investors in the audience, we have a three million seed that is underway. And we'd love to have a chat with you separately about it. Some of the areas of collaboration could be in rare diseases, could be in diseases like diabetes, vaccine and patient registries, mobile clinics, and other public health studies. Our philosophy has really been, as Henry Ford has said, that if our people had asked me what to build, I would have said they want faster horses. We have re-engineered by trying to create a completely different solution where we are leveraging a deep domain experience to create the outstanding product, which is backed by a seasoned board of advisors for a rapid execution in this whole process. And finally, uh, we've won a lot of awards. We've been recognized in magazines as a leading uh, innovator. Uh, we also have gone through some accelerator programs. And if you have any questions after this, please feel free to contact me at rama at blockcube.com or take a look at our website where we have a five minute clip of how we used our system in the diabetes study that I've spoken about earlier on. And the phone number is 908-242-6307 or 908-656-5548. And let me conclude by thanking the sponsors for giving me this opportunity to present our company before you. And I look forward to your questions. Thank you. Thank you.